again. <laughs> um, I just made lemon pie and I had a bunch of egg whites left over and I thought, well, I don't want these to go to waste so I can use all eight of them to make you know, an omelet or some eggs in the morning or I could use some of them and make a nice little treat. <coughs> so I thought, well, I'll use some of them, make a nice little treat. So here I am, I'm making meringue cookies. They're super easy and straightforward. There's nothing overly difficult about them. Um, it's just like making a meringue, but instead of like putting it on top of a pie or, you know, making it by itself, we're gonna make little meringue cookies. Um, and they're really, really tasty. I've done it before. I made like cookies and cream and they were really good, but today we're just making chocolate meringue cookies. Um, and like the, really the most difficult about this part about this is getting our meringue right and making sure that the consistency is fine and that, um, you know, our sugar and everything is like incorporated properly and we have nice stiff peaks. Luckily for me, <laughs> if it doesn't work the first time, I have more egg whites that I can do this with. So to get started, we need about a half a cup um, of egg whites, which is more or less just like four egg whites, four eggs, four large eggs, four egg whites. <laughs> so we're just gonna plop those in. All right, so I have my KitchenAid mixer fitted with our whisk attachment because that is the best attachment when you're making whipped creams and meringues. We're just gonna turn this, turn this on to medium high speed. I have it about six right now. Um, and we're just gonna let these get nice and frothy for a few minutes. Okay, so our egg whites are pretty good and foamy. So now we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. And the cream of tartar just helps your egg whites stabilize. It helps them set up and become nice and glossy. Um, egg whites are really fickle and meringues are really fickle. Um, so when you add the cream of tartar, it doesn't alter the flavor at all. It just helps them like solidify and come together and be nice and light and fluffy and not weep and fall over and collapse on themselves. Okay, so we're gonna let this keep going, um, and in the meantime, I'm going to measure out um, the flavor of our meringues. So we're going to do half a cup of powdered sugar, and my quarter cup measuring cup is dirty, but we need a quarter cup of um, unsweetened cocoa powder. So I'm just gonna spoon this into my half cup measuring cup until it looks about right. half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder and I'm using a sieve to get out all the chunks um, so that our it's nice and smooth so we're just gonna combine this all together kind of sugar and the cocoa with the sieve into a bowl so these are at about soft peaks right now so we're going to gradually gradually add in our half a cup of granulated sugar. And since you all know that my sugar is chunky, um, I went ahead and sifted it out too to get all of the chunks out. Um, and I went ahead and did that ahead of time just because it's a process. Yeah. I turned up our mixer to like super duper high speed while we're beating these egg whites to get them to stiff, shiny peaks as we're adding in the sugar. All right, so there is our meringue. See, look at that, it's beautiful. And these are stiff peaks, and a good, good trick to do um, if you're ballsy is to, <laughs> I don't wanna do it, I'm scared, is to tip it upside down, and if they don't fall, then you're good. So, over the head. Okay, we're good. Right. Oh, God. I don't think I've had such bad anxiety in such a long time. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so now the cocoa powder and the powdered sugar that we sifted together, um, we're going to add this in thirds to our mixture, and we're just going to fold it in because um, you don't want to lose any of the air 
that you have incorporated into the egg whites. So you have to be really delicate with this process. Last third. This is quite the arm workout, let me tell you. <laughs> My arm is getting tired. Okay. Oh my goodness, this kind of smells like um like the pack. <laughs> it's gonna sound weird, but it kind of sounds like the packets of um instant hot chocolate <laughs> as odd as that may be but that's what it smells like so I have a Ziploc bag here and I'm just going to um, let's see. I think it'll be easier pipe this mixture out um, instead of just like dolloping it on we're gonna pipe it out and it's going to turn into little cute little kiss cookies hopefully <laughs> I don't mess this up really it's just like hard to not have anybody <laughs> hold the bag open and have to do I have to do this myself but you know what? I'm a strong, independent woman who does not need a baking assistant at the moment. And I can do this on myself. So, here we go. We're gonna try and get all of this mixture because we can't really do anything else with this. Um, you know, we can't, it's raw egg whites, you know, and like as, as much of an advocate as I am for eating raw, <laughs> raw cookie dough, um, I would not want to eat this personally just because this is like literally all egg whites. <laughs> okay. down into the corner and um, you know this kind of takes some of the air out but that's okay so we're just this is a makeshift piping bag so I could get my little lined with parchment paper and we're just going to take our piping bag and we're just gonna <laughs> oh my gosh okay I'm just going to there <laughs> kind of doesn't look that great but it's all right I'm just gonna do this So there we have it. I have about 30, 30 
meringue cookies. These are gonna go in a 225 degree oven. We're gonna bake them for an hour and then we're gonna turn the heat on the oven off and let them set in there for about 15 minutes before we take them out and let them cool completely on the trays. Um, thank you so much for watching this impromptu video. I appreciate it so much. I will post the end result on my Instagram, Brady Bakes by Sheena. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much.